Welcome, welcome back to Viz and Game Bears. It's time for another episode of Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. And today we have met, we ran into this town, and we're gonna continue going to the left over here. But before we do that, I want to go in here because I got a few rupees off screen, and I want to get this heart container real fast. Yeah. Give me it. It's mine now. That's our third one, I believe, right? Thank you for your patronage. Yes, and thank you for selling that, but otherwise, besides that little uh, detour, let us begin for reals this time. Alright, I think we needed to go up here, so let's see what this dude's on about. Hey, what's wrong? Hey! Shout if you can hear me! Uh, who are you? No, no, it doesn't matter. Can you please help? Please, please help us? Uh, hey, that cloak looks a lot like Lynx. Are those Lynx trendy trendies? What? Whatever. Right now or something? Ah, what am I doing? This is no time for an out of answer. My wife's got swallowed up by the rifts. Ah. Wife! Can you hear me? I'm right here. She doesn't have a name. She's just wife. Really? Okay, that's like naming your dog, dog. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go to the Suthorn Forest. I'm sensing lots of creatures in this area. I think the place marked with the yellow circle is up ahead. Well, time to go through this forest. Might as well just evade the enemies right now. Do I really need to, though? I got rocks. I could use rocks. Might as well keep one handy while I'm at it. Though I do run noticeably slower, so it's not that good, I guess. Now, let's see what's in this cave. Maybe an old dude will give me a sword. Ah, sadly not. Right, at least there's some rocks in here. Hey, a new type of enemy. Give me your soul. I want it. Give me a soul, goddammit. And it's mine now. What is this enemy? You learned the ing the enig igni zol. Echo. Igni or ignis being fire in Latin, so that's most likely where that root comes from. Give me some of them rupees. I need fire enemy. Hey, what's this? You got an electro apple. This apple, this item, can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. Sounds like something that would give me zap properties. Sounds interesting. Oh, look at that, we can use the new echo we just got. I feel like there should be separate echoes for the enemies, but whatever. I guess this one takes two, huh? Eh? To utilize. Alright, there we go. So I get. Oh, I guess it's still can be used to damage enemies, but I guess it's mostly just there to light things up. That's kind of lame, but whatever. What's in here? An empty bottle. Oh, it's cool to see one of these. Fairies love the, these sturdy bottles, and we'll jump right inside. Why? There's no way for them to breathe, assuming fairies need air. Why would the fuck would they love to go in one of those? In fact, don't most creatures hate being in captivity? I don't Whatever, man. What am I doing? Get back to me. Thank you. There was another one of those slimes is around here, right? Yeah, right there. Hey, look, you want a rock to your head? There you... Oh, I missed. Didn't sound as cool when I missed. All right, anyways, rock to the head for the slime. Actually, what does it say on that sign? I'm genuinely curious. Watch out for monsters hiding in the grass! Well, thanks for telling me. Like those guys? Alright, I'm gonna stone them. I can see you. It's a snake. Give me the power of the snake, a snake. You got the. Why is it called a rope? I guess in reference to its long rope like appearance? It's a snake. Just. Whatever, still a better name than if they just straight up called it Snake, I guess. Ow, I got hit by the snake. Yeah, 
And they're not exactly hiding in the grass, you can see them. It's their little eyes, but... Oh, uh, whatever. Still nice to be worried about that nonetheless, I suppose. Yep. Alright, we got ourselves a hard container up there. It looks like we'd have to go around to get it. Oh, I almost broke Zelda's legs. And how am I gonna beat this guy? I know. We're gonna use this man. Once he's done rolling, we can place him down. It's like that. Alright, that didn't do anything. Oh, ow. I didn't. No, I did. I'm on fire, goddammit. It's nice that they can put enemies on fire, though. Now give it me the armadillo. Uh, echo. The chromadillo. Carmadillo. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for those to uh, dry up. It's pretty nice I could set things on fire. Alright, my new pet. Show me your power. As soon as I get through this whole ass menu. Look at him go, look at the boy go. Hey, I got grapes or purple whatevers. In that reference. You got refreshing purple whatevers. This item can be used to recover uh, hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. Kinda like apples, uh, purple whatevers in real life. Now let him move out of the way. All right, and another heart container. I said earlier that we had four now, or three before. So does that give me the extra heart? Not quite. All right, so yeah, I do only have three now. Do have a nice new way to deal damage to enemies. Uh-oh, a Mablin. Armadillo, fight him. What are you doing, man? Fight him. Roll over, you know what? Just get over here if you're not gonna do it. Fight him. I'm gonna go get a stone to help you. Rocks, man. And now we have the Spear Moblem Echo. I get back in the staff. As one of those fairies. I get over here. I got a jar that you, for some reason, really like being in. All right, fairy jumped into your bottle. The fairy will automatically restore some hearts if you run out. Acting as a sort of revive, probably half of my HP. Right, what does this sign say? All right, the so the Soothorn Prairie and the Soothorn Ruins. Hmm, two paths. Where should I go? Well, they both have those garbage rifts. And it seems we have to go this way, according to the game, so... What will happen? Hmm... Was this here, or uh, where we were supposed to go? Looks like the rift is blocking the door! Seldom I rolls to mend rifts. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together, fixing up rifts! Normally my friends fix them quickly, so it's weird that it's still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Zelda, will you investigate with me? What do you mean, investigate? You tell me we can go in those things without turning evil? I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and if we find them, we can mend this rift easily. Let's head this way. Uh, we'll, we'll need to find an entry point. Entry point, huh? I'm gonna cut this grass first. I wanna see if there's anything cool. Nothing. Nothing at all. Just ignore that. Alright, just in case I need to defend myself. Alright, so I'm in some open field. We got the Mablins over here. Alright, come on, fight them for me. Throw your spear, what are you doing? You're taking damage, man. Wow, that was embarrassing. Alright, screw it, we need a rock. Rocks are more useful anyways. Yeah, take the rock, man. He's eating something over there. And I missed. Oh. I'm just making all of these come back to me. I'm already doing a lot better job than that mob when I tried to summon.
Uh, you know the saying, two birds with one stone, but have you ever heard the saying, three moblins with one stone? No, no you haven't, until now. Okay, how did I miss that many times? Get off my rocks, man. Ow. Uh oh, they took a whole heart away. I don't like that. Wait, how'd you get up there? Okay, you know, never mind. I think it's just better we run away. Run! Unless I get a heart, of course not. Might as well even drink one of those, uh, what do we call one of these? The flower nectar. Okay, really? Just a quarter of my health? Fine then. At least allow me to take one attack. Oh, I can use this. This waypoint has been recorded. Oh, you can have warp here. Never mind, I thought that was. Try saying that. How do you not see me? There we go. Why did that take so many hits? There we go, he's dead. Hey, look at that, that makes up for at least one of what I used. Oh, you got a monster fang. This high quality tooth was dropped by a monster. You can't use it in its current form. Sounds like we could do alchemy or foraging in this game. Alright, now this mysterious chest will open. What will we find? This is worth coming back. I totally didn't run away, not at all. Alright, let's put a table over here. Yeah, get that gone. Alright, let me get a trampoline. That should... does that jump me up here? Yeah, I guess not. Alright, you know what? I got a better idea. I'm gonna make them all go away. Alright, put that up here. Alright, now let's get the table first, put that up here. Then, the trampoline. I put this away. Another trampoline. There we go, I solved the problem. And more purple whatevers. And stones again. Oh, there's something there. I knew it! I can sense my friends in there. But they can't move. It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rifts at all. I think we will have to go in there and help them. Then we can deal with this rift properly. We can save them if we work together, Zelda. So, what do you say? I say nay, you do it by yourself, because I don't want to touch that thing. Hmm. Alright, we can get in there now. Let's go save my friends. I might as well go in here. I still, or, or yeah, stilled to Thorn Forest. Oh, you know what? This kind of reminds me of the Distortion World from Pokemon Platinum. This is the steel wood. Everything you see floating around in here was sucked in through the rift. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Why did it take so long for that to happen? Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts, though. How convenient. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. 
I let's hope I don't drop down here. Gotta be steady now. What is that thing? Maybe it's better I don't know. Huh, you ever want to stand on a tree? Well, here you go. When people get fouled in the rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore. And if they stay that way, they eventually fade away. But that won't happen to you, Zelda. You're special. For some reason. Besides me being the princess of this kingdom, what makes me so special with this? I don't get it. What is that thing up there? What is that? Let's use some tables to get up there. Alright, never mind. I guess those purple things are just there for decoration. And how are we gonna kill that evil bat? Maybe we won't need to. Well, let me guess it's gonna close down the second I'm not on it anymore? Oh, run out of hearts. I think we should use some grapes. Or purple whatevers, I don't know what grapes are. There's an awful lot of enemies in here. I know, we're gonna stone them. And somehow I missed. I missed again, I am a terrible shot. Oh, come on, man. And they got a bit of HP as well. Our right, Moblin, help me. Hopefully it won't be useless this time. Wait, I can lift him? Why the hell can I do that? Oh. Alright, that's how we're supposed to use him. There we go. You actually got a hit in. Oh, Marble, you can do it. All right, I got two of them dead. Three of them dead. All right, there we go, and now we can move on. All right, still the Suthorn Forest. Like this guy. Ah. Oh no, my echoes. Alright, thankfully I don't have to worry about fighting them. Alright, another 2D section. I did not want to do that. Hello, Aaron. How are you doing today? Alright, before we continue with that. I'm doing just fine, how are you doing? Armadillo, attack him! Oh wait, I can just push him right back, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, man! That would make him so broken in 2D sections. Just keep spinning there, you earned it. And we got purple. Not purple whatevers, though, sadly. I wanted to get some purple whatevers. All right, trying to shiny hunt for Aeron's, perhaps? All right, get that guy away from me. I don't want anything to do with him. Oh, what's that? Another person. Hey, I remember this one from the castle. I can restore her back to normal if I, we mend this rift. We gotta find your friends first, which I didn't know you had friends. Hey, <laughs> right, well, look to you all your shiny hoods. This is where you were trapped not too long ago. 
We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting there. Alright, and checkpoints. Don't know why the checkpoints here look like cactuses, but whatever. I'm gonna break every single bot in here. Channel in my inner link. Also, I had 64 rupees, but not 69, sadly. And how the frick do I move this thing? It's a pretty big rock, huh? You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you guide me with the rod, I can move things if you base, for you based on your movements. Try facing this boulder, and then guide me by pressing X. Okay. Oh, you know, that's like a certain other Zelda game where you can move things with your hand. If I had a nickel for each time this was a thing, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's funny it happened twice. We're bound together. Okay, now try moving. Alright, bind. Using X to guide, try. The monster or object that try binds, it too will follow your movements. You can also use ZL to target whatever you want try to bind to. Well, there was that one Zelda game that nobody wants to talk about for the CDI where you could play Zelda, or two of them where you could play Zelda, but we don't talk about those, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I think we shouldn't talk about those. Yep. Guide, try... Alright, it looks like I'd have to put the rock right over there. Yep. And place it right over here, just so I get a better angle. At least sit down. Yeah, we should not talk about that. Alright, there's some stairs down there. But I'm gonna jump over here first. I wanna see what this is. Unless I'm supposed to go down there. First? Oh no, we're, we're, I think we're fine over here. Yeah, we can talk about how reward. Is that just a stick of butter? Yep, yeah, that's butter. You got five portions of radiant butter. Butter was fermented in such a way that it brines tightly. A shiny suit shines brightly. Excuse me. You can't use it in its current form. Yeah, I can. You ever ate butter straight before? It's actually kind of tasty. Don't try that at home, kids. Oh, come on, man. I'm just trying to get down the ladder faster. Alright, I can climb these spider webs. I don't think I should be able to do that. Oh my god, he's fast. Alright, you know exactly what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stone him. Get out of here. Oh. And now I can stone him, I think. Oh my god, why are you so fast? Of course, that's the... Uh oh. I don't like that at all. Right, now that I know how you work. I don't want to push it, Zelda, thank you. And now we have the Spider Echo, or whatever the fuck this thing's called. The Strandula, or Strandilla, whatever the fuck. Echo. I wonder if it would help me get up platforms, that'd be pretty cool. I've never played Hyrule Warriors, perhaps I should try it someday. That's not where I wanted to do that. There we go. Alright, maybe I won't be able to get those for now. Actually, I don't think I can use a trampoline. Yeah, I don't think I can. All the way to our spider friend. Spider friend! I think I should place some of them over here. Look at him. What a friendo he is. And I guess I can only have one at a time at the moment. Alright, give me whatever is in here. Anytime I see a treasure chest, I have to get it. You got a dungeon map. Now you can see the dungeon layout and its area of the still world. The dungeon map. Press 
minus to open up the dungeon map. While it's open, you can toggle the still world view on or off with either of those buttons. That's coming out at the end of next month, don't you worry. Well, there was a game I was looking to get uh, that got delayed to April, so... I'd say it's a good thing when game devs delay their game, I'd say. Give them some more time to work on it. It will be a better product at the end of the day. You know what they say? A, uh... What am I gonna call it? I forgot what the guy said. How would that work here, anyways? Oh. I see. It's just floating. But anyways, I forgot. What was the saying again I was about to say? A delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is bad forever. So don't get mad when the devs have to delay their game by a bit. It's all a part of the process. Oh yes, I did see that. Throw that little epilogue for Shadow Sonic X Shadow Generations. I actually, before I go on there, is there anything up here? Alright, it's so another one of those candle guys. I'm not gonna try and fight him. Alright, that tells me there might be a boss fight coming up here. Fighting Emerald, I think you mean, or one of the Gizoid units? Yeah, uh oh. I don't like him. Armadillo, I need your help. Uh oh. He can't damage him. I guess it's time for an old-fashioned stoning. Uh oh, he's nearly invincible. Alright, I did do some damage to him. I'm just trying to keep my distance. Emerald from the best Sonic game ever, in my opinion. Come on. Ah, he's not dead yet. Was there a robot named Gate in the Sonic world? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Oh, that art's from Sonic game I never played. There we go, you're dead now. And, we got ourselves a new Echo. You learned- oh my god, I hate this thing's name, Dark Now, Who thought that name was a good idea? You don't want to know how they got that name, just- ugh. Who thought that name was a good idea? I'm just- Jesus, fuck. Seriously, back in element, not elementary school, middle school, me and my little sister used to make fun of the name, um, quite a lot, for pretty obvious reasons. Let's not get too far into that. Just, I hate that thing's name, just why is it called that? <laughs> Anyways. Hey, an apple. I just want to see what the other side is going to give me. Now let's go see what that is. Oh, never mind, you can't go over here. Alright, down the ladder. Alright, another 2D section. Alright, it looks like we're gonna have to use our candle friend over here. Not the slime friend, the candle friend. To light that up. I cannot jump over this, no I cannot. Push this out of the way. Alright, that's clearly too heavy for her. It's time for an old fashioned stoning. Some stones should break these things. Open, there we go. This one I'm gonna keep here. 
Table time again. And now, candle friend. And the gate opens. Though I might have put that rock in the wrong area. Yeah, I think I pushed that a little too far. Can I pull it? Oh, I think I'm stuck. I gotta reset the room, I suppose. That's not annoying at all. Yeah, it's not gonna help. At least the candle's already lit up. I don't have to redo that part. However, this part I have to redo. Alright, table. Hey, purple whatevers. I want to pick these up real fast. All right, now we have ourselves a new checkpoint. And now while we're at it, save time while well, we have very low HP. All right, so it looks like we have to solve something over here. All right, one's got a shield, but what about the other ones? Where are the multiples of those guys I have to fight? Unless, why don't we get our new friend over here? Come on, dude, attack or something. I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah, you're thinking gate from X6, most likely. Yeah, maybe there's more of those night enemies I need to fight. Now let's backtrack, I guess. Oh, thankfully there isn't no fall damage in this game. That most likely would have killed me. Oh, we don't ever find out what truly happened hit well, actually he died. He died after he died during the events of X6. What do you mean after X6? That's why you don't find anything about him, because he's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go backtrack a bit further. So there might be something I'm missing if there are four of those dudes I need to fight. I let her, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that shield. Wait a minute, where's my... Oh, there it is. Fight him! Uh-oh. No, not my spider friend. Be the decoy. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Did he? I don't remember that part. Maybe I'm gonna go back to that room with that shield, because I don't know what the hell the game wants me to do there.
Okay, I keep doing that. I keep trying to press the B button to get off the ladder faster. But playing an awful lot of Mega Man off screen, and uh, yeah, I think that's why I keep doing that. Spider friend help. Alright, that'll have to do, just to be a decoy. Alright, before my spreader dies. You know, actually, I think I have an idea what I can do. Gotta think a little more. I'm gonna summon a bed. Right here. I said I'm gonna summon a bed right here. Walk over it like that. Let's try a table instead. I'm right in front of it. What am I supposed to do? What do I just take it off? It's not giving me any options. Unless, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. I'm so stupid. I backtracked for no reason. So it should have been more of an indication that I could, you know. Pull that shield off the guy, whatever. Uh oh. It's one of these dudes. But this time, I got my own backup. Fight him! Beat him! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! Fight him now. And I'll help. Take that. Damn it all, I want that heart. Okay, I can get it. Great, we're at full HP now. What if I can hide in that? No, I cannot. Alright. I'm like the ones in the castle. There's a very long corridor, it looks like. I think there's a boss fighter coming. Oh. Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Like, oh my god! Yeah! Ah. They say Link shouldn't talk, but imagine if he could talk while he was possessed like this. Alright. Dank nut, attack! Attack him! God damn it! Oh no! Taste that, ha! Huh? Ow! Give me the heart. It was worth it. Fuck it. Or maybe pots are his weakness. Ow! 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 It still doesn't make it a good puzzle if there's no sort of indication that I'm able to pull that thing off. Come on, dude, attack him. Be a distraction for a second. There we are. Ow. Alright, screw it. Using enemies isn't helping. Let's stone him. Yeah, actually, that's being a lot more useful than summoning enemies. All 
Alright, he seems to be weakened. Keep stoning him. I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again until I win. I think it's the only way, really. Come on. go. He should be almost done. There we go. Oh. He ain't done just yet. He's looking a little angry, a little purple. He's walking a little faster, too. I'll try to jump up here. Ah, damn it all. Yes, I can stone him freely now. All right, dog, not attack him. All right, that clearly didn't work. Oh, got them spin attacks. Now, come on, try to walk that way. Oh, he sees me. Somehow. I really wish Zelda's spinning attack could do actual damage, though. Even a minimal amount of damage, that would've been fine. Took too much damage again. I just needed to get that heart before it disappeared. There we go, he's open. There we go, he's dead. I didn't need any minions to take down the Hylian Champion, I just needed a rock, a few rocks. By that logic, you wouldn't have a sense of discovery if you bombed open a wall that has a crack in it. That would be a hint right there. I mean, that's not always the case. There are times in Zelda games where you can bomb things open and there's no indication you can. Unless you try to hit it with a sword, that's also an indication. Get out of here with those bots, dude. Nobody likes bots. Anyways. And a hint doesn't make it a cheat either. Alright, what was he saying? He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was worried, like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. You got a mysterious sword. 
It's not the Master Sword, though. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. The name Link is engraved on it. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword. Even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a kind of special power. Any game could, ha could you know, hint to you for a puzzle. I raise the sword. It's not just Mario games, a lot of other games do that too. No hints in certain Zelda games. Just, I guess just that just wasn't one of those hints. Hey, I'm a hologram. You look strong, like the guy who wears green. Mysterious sword, raise your sword with the up arrow to enter a sword fighter form. Once transformed, you can attack with Y. While transformed, defend with your shield by pressing and holding the ZL button. You can also jump higher than usual in this form by, with B. Finally, hold Y to charge the sword to release it for a spin attack. You got some energy. You feel a mysterious might growing within you. I can jump a little higher. Yeah, the totally not Master Sword could cut through those things. And shouldn't I be in this form temporarily, I'm pretty sure? As the trailer showed? Yep, right there. I'm no longer in sword mode. Leaving sword fighter form. When in sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left hand corner of the screen will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form after the energy gauge is depleted. You can also exit this form by pressing the up arrow. You can refill your energy gauge by gathering those things. And try move this rock for me. I can't go back into that form, it looks like. That's, that's a nice balance, I'd say. So you can't just cheese it over and over. And let's use the trampoline. Alright, now getting up there. I guess I won't be- actually, I got an idea. I need a spider friend. He'll help. What is this? You got a heart pin. This hairband has a distinct heart design. It makes hearts appear a little more often. You can wear equipment of uh, different items that will have a variety of benefits. You can equip these items for the plus menu under equipment. Alright, under equipment you say. Right here. We don't have any equipment on yet, so might as well take advantage of it. One of those blue things. Give me that energy. I need it bad. Alright, let's go this way. Uh oh. A totally not piranha plant. I know, I'm gonna light him on fire. Here, take fire, dude. Easy. And now we have that power for ourselves. You got the Deku Baba Echo. Hey, purple whatevers. Alright, it seems the only way is to break this. Alright, it was only needed for a split second anyways. Right, come on, try to attack me. Light him on fire. Like I mentioned in the previous episode, being able to summon enemies like that definitely reminds me of things from like Lost Kingdoms or whatever, using cards. Killed him. 
And from uh, Dragon Quest Heroes being able to summon enemies to help you fight. That was a cool thing that you could basically use your enemies to aid you. Oh, I don't know, I can do that with enemies as well. Just ripped his head off. I got a key! You got a small key, you can open a locked door. Be that simple pulling that over here, it looks like. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, who will that be? Princess. Interesting. I think she plays a lot of 3DS games. <laughs> Alright, I got an idea, actually. Maybe if we use the table, put the table over there. Now we can move this. Well, first things first. Move you up here. Ah, right, there we go. That's what I want. Now, how am I gonna put that up there is the problem. Don't entirely get what I'm supposed to do there. Alright, let's use the small key. Open up. Imagine if they had lockpicking in the Zelda world. It's kind of funny that it isn't a thing. At least not to my knowledge. I will upload them, don't you worry. And separate myself. There we go, that opens the cell. I think there was a fairy in there just now. Alright, there's a floating platform. We don't want to fall down there. That's quite a drop. Let's test it out. Yeah, that's a drop, alright. Oh yeah, Zelda! There's one more thing you could do when you use bind. After binding yourself to something with X, Try holding R! When holding R, your movement will follow at your bound. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Don't worry, I'll do that. I'll upload it. Alright, reverse bond. While using bind, press and hold R to follow the motions of whatever you're bound yourself to. Okay. Can I bind myself to anything? Oh, I don't know. I can shoot that upwards. I gotta wait for that to move. Unless I can do it diagonally, I can, just not at the right angle. There we go. He just told me I could reverse that. Huh. Neat.
Uh, why don't we use the bed? Oh, that didn't work. I guess I was supposed to follow that up there, but eh, who cares? That's how real people do this. Well, I can't hear my monitor, so I don't know what her sound effects sound like. I can listen to that myself off screen, though. Ah, blast it, I wasn't supposed to do that diagonally. Get over here, what do you think you're doing? I guess I gotta wait for it to come over here again. Oh my god, god damn it. Oh, I gotta wait again. Why do I keep... Ah, fucking hell. I keep pressing the wrong button. I gotta get used to this thing. I want my treasure chest, goddammit. There we go. Now what do we find? All that for 20 rupees, okay. going to release that there. Let's see, why don't we use a table? I can do the same thing with a table nicely enough. I release you right there. That table will be in the way now. That's a little annoying. Push should back just a little more. Release that. Thankfully, that's not affected by gravity. Yep. Which, unless I can do this. supposed to do here. Alright, put myself at a higher elevation, I think is the answer. I don't get it, how am I supposed to move that up there? Once I move the treasure chest... Oh, 
Alright, there's something I'm missing here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna reset the room real fast, hold on. So otherwise, that doesn't make much sense how I'm supposed to do that. You know, it would be nice a way to actually move the damn thing upward. Other than that, there's a part to this follow shit that I don't know I can do. Alright, even if I lifted it up, how am I going to get it on the button? Doesn't help that if I were to put the bed right here, it's just going to be in the way. I got a better idea, actually. Hold on. Put it on this side. I don't think I did that before. I mean, I somehow got it connected. That's interesting. I can't even move it past there. Oh, that's just great. Whoop. I'll just look up what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Be nice if I could move the frickin' statue upward a little, that'd be cool. I lock on. Cause like, I'm limited to... ...the access is given, there's no way to move that upward. At least without it getting in the way. Am I supposed to get it up there like that? Yep. 
I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? What? What, can I phase through somehow and I just didn't know? Nope, not at all. I'll just look it up. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Watch, what's the... Yeah, I'm looking it up. I don't give a shit. Hold on, bear with me, everybody, because clearly the... Like I mean, there should be some sort of hint. Is there something I'm supposed to do with the controls that I can't do? You know me, I misunderstand shit easily. I'm supposed to jump on top of a t- Okay, really? So really, I just need one table. Now, let me reset the room first. Because for fuck's sake, I didn't know that jumping with it could also cause whatever you're holding to go up. The game doesn't tell you that. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? I didn't know I could do that. What? I wonder why I was having so much trouble. I didn't know I could do that. But sat here for 20 minutes for what? Anyways. Good puzzle design. How the fuck was I supposed to know I could jump with it? Or that I moved if I jumped with it? Alright, open the door. We already activated that, right? No, no, we didn't. Alright, let us save real quick, as you know what they say. It's good to keep a record. And get through the door. Nobody's here! But it definitely sensed my friends in this room spot earlier. Oh no, it's Boulder Guys from Super Mario Galaxy. Seismic Talus. No, your name's Boulder Geist. My friends, they're in that creature. We gotta get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. Now, like a certain guy from Fire Emblem once said, I fight for my friends. Anyways, like usual, I'm gonna stone him even though he's a stone. That still damages him.
Oh. I think he doesn't move while he does that. Don't think the arena's quite large enough for that. Oh, neat. Get more of those little energy parts for that. Alright, sword mode. Alright, out of sword mode. Alright, what am I supposed to do with this? I guess hit it? Yeah, I'm supposed to hit it. Alright, I guess that's a part of his body now. Ow. Alright, so when he does that, he's vulnerable. Good to know. I right, wanna do one of those again. Look at that, another one of these. And two of them as well. Alright, once he's stunned, we're gonna go into sword mode and just hit him over and over again. Sit this over and over. And now it's on his head, and he's angry. I'm surprised he doesn't shoot shockwaves with that. Alright, he's stunned for a bit longer, I've noticed, when he, whenever he does that. I can't hit him with that. Right, clearly I need some form of elevation, so that's what we're gonna do. God damn it, my table, you know how much I paid for that? Actually, wait, can I climb on him? Oh, I can. I didn't know that. That actually makes this a lot easier now. And now you're dead. Full heart. Look at all the totally not Luma looking things. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we can finally fix the rifts here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. All right, I'm watching. Nothing's happening yet. <laughs> oh. 
Everything, at least in this area, is back to normal. You forgot that one tree there. What if you just thought, now nah, let's leave the tree out of it? Good thing you didn't, right? My friends shared some of their power with me. I guess every time we beat a dungeon, he gets an extra triangle. I feel like I can do even more now. Try got a new triangle. Press Y to create all sorts of echoes. Oh yeah, also, they told me something while we were fixing the bridge, or the rift. They said that big rock monster has showed up and captured them. So then, they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Oh, and one more thing. One other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat, so give them, the, so give them to you, Zelda. You got five unusual crystals from Tri. I wonder what I can do with them. Oh. It just refills my sword gauge, that's all that does. I'm all finished up here, so we can head out now if you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. Also, I remember there's this Zelda theory where every time you beat a major boss, they drop the heart, you're literally eating the enemy's heart. Considering the fact that we just beat a rock monster, are we eating the rock monster's rocky heart? Whatever. I can travel between the still world and your world here. Do you want to return to your world now? Okay, let's go! that was here is gone now, which means we can reach the place where we were trying to go to earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts, and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah. You there, a moment of your time, or whoever the hell's talking. A moment of your, of your time, excuse me. Huh? I am Lifte, Minister of Hyrule. Uh, pardon me, pardon the intrusion, but can you tell me where we are? Uh, Princess Zelda! I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. How? You're staring right at her face. Uh, why are you wearing that? Because my dad wants to kill me, man. That's why. So we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out of your face in much danger? Mm. I must confess, I am surprised to hear of your abilities, and your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tri. Oh, wait a minute. You can see him, but Impa couldn't. Is that gonna get explained later? You can see me. I, who could miss you? You're floating right there, aren't you, precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh, so Lady Impa can see you. How odd. I guess those glasses you're wearing are just special, somehow. All these aside, I'm worried about this Majesty and the General. We need to make the plan. There's much to consider, but for now, please head to the Yellow Circle located location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? Mm. If I recall correctly... Huh? Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she sent you there. I'll lead you the way. Follow me. Yeah, I know I'm here, dude. You don't need to look back if I'm still with you. I'm right here, don't worry. I'm gonna beat you to it. Alright, here's where we needed to go. Over here! Princess, let's travel together, shall we? Why are you, why are you letting me go that far ahead? I mean, normally in most games when you get too far ahead of the, one of these follow me parts, they tell you, oh, hey, we gotta stay together or something, but here they wait a little bit before telling you that. Right in here, Princess. Hello, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, pardon us, but my name is Lefty. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... What's that? 
I'm a very busy man. Enough time for chatter now. Get. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, we'll only be a minute, a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. God damn it. I gotta go save Link. Hmm. <clears throat> Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well. Well, this all happened and that happened. What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the riffs. Anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Yeah, we finally got through to him. Alright. This has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is this floated thing? You can see me too? That's strange. I've always been able to, too. But now both of you can see as well? You're maybe the power he absorbed allowed, them to, allowed him to be seen. You're telling me we're the only ones who could see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating, su uh, such a fascinating and might I add adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand. What is it at, that you and I have in common? We've been ending up in rips and lived to tell a tale. It seems the rips changed people somehow. Oh yeah, guess I should introduce myself. My name's Luber. I'm Limpa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you with Link, I made his weapon the sword of mine. Mr. Blueberry? Oh, why do you make him a sword? So he could defend himself, what the fuck else? I mean, Princess, remember that big, nasty blue fella who, who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks end up in them. Those unfortunate enough holding the rift vanished without a trice. After which, town's folks were to say they've been stolen away. And how Link made it his mission to fight the monsters and come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing. And I've been helping him about too. Which is why I made the sword. <laughs> One that's a figure against the rift monsters. The sword of my Prince Zelda wielding is the very one I hoped would be used to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well? Mm -hmm. What did I just tell you? Were you using your ears? Plenty of monsters out, here, out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Also, he was not powerful, he was a freaking tutorial boss. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out? And yet, the rift's still coming? And clearly, we're missing something. The rift's of the force is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rifts in Hyrule Castle, I felt, was, I felt like I was found somewhere away. Flown somewhere away, excuse me. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over here? Uh, rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things collect, connect differently inside them. Sounds like the distortion world from Pokemon Platinum. What was I saying before? My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far and far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey Zelda, I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. Don't hit your head. Oh wait, I forgot you could go through things. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did find some big rifts we can explore. And they magically appeared on my map for some reason. Okay, why weren't they there before? I've marked them. Oh, okay, that's why I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't 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 answer the question. I look stupid. If if we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. God damn it, I already handled one. I can handle more. That's up to her to decide. You don't, ma'am. Minister, I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis at Hyrule, we all have to play our bot, Princess Zelda included. 
You make a salient point, Mr. Leverry. Princess, I urge you to go with trying to the other rifts. Why can't you make me a sword? That would be really useful right now, whatever. You're the only one who could fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Of course, investigations are my specialty. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jubal and Jab yeah, Jabal waters. Please, let me know if you require further information. Alright, Princess. I'll leave it to you to find the King General Wright and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot! Let's see what you got there! Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is! I have to do my research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. You know me, I like making myself stronger. Come back soon. All right, well, we've done quite a bit of things. And we shall go to one of these destinations. Also, is that a sign over there? This waypoint has been recorded. You can now work to this area of the map. Wait a minute, is that me on there? Wanted Princess Zelda, have sighted? Send word to the King of Hyrule. Man, do I really look like that? Yeah, no, I'm ugly. <laughs> That's actually a running trend in a lot of the Tales of games where one of the characters, usually the main main character of the game, gets uh, captured and he escapes from jail, then they have a bunch of signs with their faces on it, and it's just really, really bad drawings, like in Tales of Sofania or in Zillia 2. It's actually a running gag in the series, and it's just hilarious. It's nice to see that here. Taking a page out of Namco's book, Nintendo, I see what you're doing. Anyways, I think in the next episode we're gonna go this away. I'm gonna take a guess that that's the waters or whatever. Yeah, that's probably the waters. And then we'll go up here to the Gerudo Desert, I assume. Whichever way is which, I don't know. I can't tell from here. But anyways, you know what they say. Uh, where's my save? Yes, right here. It's good to keep a record. Ah, save again. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this and want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Hit when the video is screwing up on YouTube. That bell button for more. I'm gonna give a special thank to Aaron for joining me once again for this wonderful episode as well. This video is sponsored by the wonderful peeps at W. Just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount on your wonderful drink order. I recommend the Dragonite flavor as well. What did you like and dislike about this video? You can use that feedback for future vids. Consider answering the question of the day and consider becoming a YouTube member for just $3 a month and a subscriber on Twitch for just $6 a month. You all get special access to things like my Pokemon and Surge's playthrough. As well as in my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke, you can get named by a Pokemon of your choosing, assuming it's obtainable in that game, of course. Anyways, let us end this off with a quick raid for those of you on Twitch. And 3DS Princess is who you'd like me to raid, that is who we shall raid. Let me just type in her name. 3DS Princess, playing Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 Remastered. Interesting. Send her your unwavering love and support. And consider asking her viewers to follow my channel as well, as I will follow her channel. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a bearific day.